Hello, good day. I am Laika Acosta from University of Batangas and now I will discuss to you on how to solve problems using POMQM software. So before we start, let me tell you something about POMQM. It is a software for production or operation management, quantitative method, management science, and operations research. So let's start. In this problem, it says that we need to find 3-month moving average. So we need to go to the side tab and find forecasting and then click the forecasting and click time series analysis. Modify the tables if desired. So 3-month moving average ang kailangan and then ilagay lang natin yung data which is 120, 90 for February. And 100 for March, 75 for April, 110 for May, 50 for June, 75 for July, 130 for August, 110 for September, and 90 for October. And then click the solve in the upper left side. So we get the answer 110. By this time, 5 month moving average is needed, so click 5 and then click solve. The answer will be 91. In this problem, 3 month weighted moving average is needed with a weight of 50%, 30%, and 20%. On the upper part, click the mini search bar and click weighted moving average and it says in the problem that 3 month weighted average in most recent period it is 50 and then second most recent period is 30 and third most recent period is 20 and then click solve the answer is 104 in the next period for this problem, select the number of past period as number 8 because February to September and then select the February. After that, select on the mini search bar, moving average. As it is stated in the problem. 3, moving average. So, there input number three and the data in february it is 610 in march 440 april 630 may 570 june is 600 july 420 and then august 510 and for September is 610. After that, click solve and the answer would be 513.33. For number 5, the officer desires to get a forecast considering exponential smoothing forecast with smoothing constant equal to 0 0.30. For the number of past periods, input 12 and then click January okay then click the exponential smoothing after that click 0 0.30 then let's input the data for demand of January it is 38 then 41 42 38 46 51 44 48 57 53 56 and 55 and then click solve so the answer is 52.793 
In problem number 6, we are looking for the forecast using MAD. So, you just have to click solve again and then we will see the answer MAD for 4.85. For number 7, we are looking for its mean absolute percent deviation which is basically there, the 9.67%. For problem number 8, exponential smoothing with trend is needed, so put the exponential smoothing with trend in the mini search bar and then for alpha is 0 0.50 and for beta is 0 0.30. So let's try to solve it. And the answer is 55.96. In problem number 9, we are looking for the forecast for January using linear trend. Look for linear trend line model and then click solve. So the answer would be 56.62. For number 11, in reference to problem number 10, compute the correlation for the linear regression equation. So let's click for casting and then time series analysis and the number of past period is three so yeah a b c d e so let's click that and then okay after that let's input the data of the reference in problem number 10 so the total of letter A is 170. For letter B, 176 and then 176. After that, we will click here in the mini search bar to find for the linear trend line model. After that, click solve. So that's it. The answer for correlation coefficient is 0.866 which we can see here in the choices letter B, 0 0.866. For problem number 12, the 9 fan electric bike dealer in Malolos area is focused on studying and releasing a forecast accurately for the demand of their electric bikes in the next months. They aim to maintain enough stocks for their inventory. Also, the dealer has accumulated the following data for the past year. So, compute a 3-month moving average forecast of demand for April through July and weighted 3-month moving average with weights of 0 0.5 for March, 0 0.3 for Feb, 0 0.2 for January forecast for April through July. Compare the two forecasts computed using MAD or mean absolute deviation. Which one should the dealer use for July? So, for this problem, we will click this forecast. Then, time series analysis. And click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 number of past periods. Then, Click the January. Okay. So, the data is 9, 13, 8 for March, 10 for April, 16 for May, and 12 for June. So, based on the problem, weighted moving average ang kailangan gamitin so weighted moving average and it is said that 3 month moving average 3 month ok let's change this into 3 enter so in most recent period in january 0 0.2 second most recent 0 0.3 and third most recent period which is March is 
0 0.5. So, after inputting the data, let's try to click solve. So, here it is. The mean absolute deviation is 2.3 and it is here in the choices. Letter D, weighted 3-month moving average with MAD 2.30. So, yeah, that's it. So that's it for today's video and I hope you learned something about me and POMQM software. Thank you for watching! Bye!